Hi everybody, welcome to my bubble. Today I'm gonna to be doing a quick tutorial on my everyday makeup look. To start, I always put on my Cover FX Blurring Primer. This just helps to set in my foundation and anything else that I put on my face. Just gonna rub that all over my face. Then I have the Mary Kay TimeWise Matte Foundation in Beige 2. And I'm going to cover this all over my face because I'm a little bit splotchy today. You can't really see in the camera, but my skin tone is a little splotchy. So this just helps to even it all out. Make it all one color. And I'm using a makeup sponge to apply this. If you guys were wondering what's on top of my head, it is a cotton t-shirt that I use for my hair when it is wet after taking a shower because I have curly frizzy hair. This helps to lessen the frizz while it's drying. Now I'm taking a blush brush and I'm just kind of um, making that all go in, make sure it's all blended well. Now I'm taking the contour kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to contour my face using the middle brown color on the palette. Going in on my cheekbones and I apply it a little bit dark at the beginning because I like to blend it in and it really just helps those cheekbones pop. On my jawline, giving me some definition, hiding that double chin that I've got going on. And underneath my chin, just to give it more of a shadow. Now I'm taking the lighter shade. I'm putting it in the areas that I want to highlight, like my cheekbones and my forehead. Now I'm blending those two shades in together to really make some definition on my face. I am using a blush brush blend all this in. Now I'm using a makeup primer by Arbon for my eyelids uh, before I apply my eyeshadows. This really helps to loosen up the psoriasis that I have in the corners of my eyes and I'm able to peel off the uh, dried flakes so that I have a smooth um, layer of skin right there. Now I'm taking the Nightingale palette by Pretty Boulder using Hide and Seek for an all over eye color. Now I'm taking the dark brown color, I forget the name, it's all blurry in there, and I'm taking it in the corner of my eye, kind of winging, winging it out from my eye. I'm using a crease brush, I'm using a slightly lighter shade of brown to go into my crease, and I make it thicker um, on the outer edges than I do on the inner corner. Now I'm taking a blending brush and I just kinda, I just kinda go at it. I, I, you know, I do windshield wiper motions, I do circular motions, really getting it blended out there um, so it's not so um, dark looking and more of a natural look. Now I'm taking this brush and using a white shade from the Pretty Bulgur palette and just going on my eyelid with that. Now I'm using the Jante Blue 
um, liquid eyeliner. This one's a felt tip one, and I'm just doing a little small wing. It's like a half wing. I don't go fully from from the inner from my inner corner of my eyelid. Um, I go like from the middle part and just kind of out a little bit from my eye, just to look like a little tiny cat eye. Um, this is better than Sex Mascara. I got this in a Ipsy bag like a year ago and it has been my favorite ever since. I have not tried another one that has beat the way that this makes my eyelashes look. I don't have very much eyelashes so I really need something that's going to make them look thicker and fuller and longer without having to put stuff on and there goes my uh, classic mascara look. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. This is my finished look and I'm going to go do my hair now. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, have a bubbly day.